Hello, it's nice to see you again. Okay. Now I would uh, stay healthy. The first, uh, we have say thanks to Almighty God that conduct and give us the healthy so we can discuss about the how to speak English fluently. Yes, how to speak English well. Uh, to speak English well and fluently follows as uh, five things. And the first means slow down, then the second means act as confident, and then the third and emphasize, and then practice and keep going. And do this and we are confided and that you will be able to impress other with your fluency. Needed uh, your brief uh, is a challenge, and then you can make uh, your English orally daily, maybe with the machine help or needed a monitor. First meaning we have to say uh, slow down. A common problem among foreign language speakers can be to speak so quickly. It can be tempting to try and get our words put out quickly, but while well, it may feel good, is that to get uh, in feel good the words out. Yes, rushing your words can often lead to confuse uh, about the miscommunication instead of speaking quickly. Uh, and slow down and keep what you are simple and over time. As you become more familiar with the language, I try to speed up again and to make your speech sound more natural. So I think it is impossible if we are Indonesian that can speak at least like uh, British and Western people outside. Yes, because uh, it depends on our culture. Here, the English in the second language. And then, uh, X confident, X mean action, okay? Many people feel shy or embraced uh, when speaking English. And don't be, act as if you are the most uh, confident person. You know, in fact, uh, be the most confident you by acting as if you are confident. We are freed or strengthened and neural networks is in your brain. And so the next time you speak, uh, you may feel more confident as you are used to the situation. So ex confident and more over time. And then yeah, was that? Uh, you will feel confident and indeed be confident. Uh, the next point means uh, use emphasize. The same sentence said uh, with different emphasis has a very different meaning. The meaning of the sentence may be, I didn't say she stole my money. Might seem clear to you, but if we add emphasis uh, to each word in the sentences, uh, it has meaning uh, changed quite dramatically. I didn't say she stole my money. Someone else had it. And then I didn't say she stole my money. I didn't say it. I didn't say she stole my money. I only I implied it. I didn't say she stole my money. I said someone did not necessarily hurt. Then practice as the English saying goes. Practice make perfect. If you want to do something really well, uh, then you have and put a lot of hard work and make a mistake. And then and learn something from them. Use Google Translate and it's okay on your phone by speak and to the English and if see Google can write down perfectly what you are saying. And then and you are practicing. Don't think about yourself as a student, as someone who learn the language, think yourself as someone who using English because you are. And then final, keep going. If you make a mistake, keep going and understand about the very low people. If a native speaker, uh, the English mostly, and we all make a mistake. So, 
keep going when you are speaking English. Thank you very much and inspire for you.